Dr. Fu Barson. I'm not a real doctor and I'm not a real Barson, but I have some thing I'd like to share. Basically I was watching this video on the Fibonacci sequence and how it appears in nature. Uh, very interesting stuff. Um, I'm sure many of you are familiar with it, but it just caused me to well up and uh, realize how grateful I am that God imprints nature with so many clues as to who he is and how wonderful every single thing he does is. And I wrote a little YouTube comment saying, God is good and worthy to be praised. I sent that out there and of course I got a lot of negative responses back, but it got me thinking about a very favorite verse of mine, which is Romans 1, 18 through 23. And I'll read it now. The wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men, who by their unrighteousness suppress the truth. For what can be known of God is plain to them, because God has shown it to them. For his invisible attributes, namely his eternal power and divine nature, have been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world in the things that have been made. So they are without excuse. For although they knew God, they did not honor him as God or give thanks to him, but they became futile in their thoughts, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Claiming to be wise, they became fools, and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for images resembling mortal man, and birds, and animals, and creeping things. And really, that text stands on its own, and uh, if you want to listen to it again, you can click on this Bible here. It'll jump you back. And this verse applies both to individuals and to people and people groups as a whole uh, as, as a society as a, as, a, as a creation we've gone far from the truths that God had uh, originally revealed and the reason why is our unrighteousness but as individuals each person has access to so much truth about God if they would just seek it out if they would just believe it but what keeps us from it is that unrighteousness now the bad news is all of that unrighteousness keeps us from God. But the good news is God overcame that, that unrighteousness. He conquered sin and death by sending his son to die and be raised again. So you don't have to be separated from God. You can be with him both here on earth and in eternity. And the next point I want to make is that this is a fair thing. Even the, the child that was born in communist Russia or born in India, they all have equal access to God, or at least equitable access to God. And I have a page about that that you can get to if you click on this bottle of raspberry tea. And uh, if you want to see the Fibonacci sequence, I have this bag of sunflower seeds here which we talk about sunflowers in the video. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Be powerfully blessed.